James Brown there from 1966, when it very probably was a man's world. But it isn't anymore. Today, the car has become as much a fashion accessory as a Nicky Clark hairdo. As important for the single girl about town as lunch in Harvey Nicks. Five years ago, if I'd talked shop, women would have turned the conversation to shopping. I want to kiss you in Paris. But now, cars, well, they're a girl thing. Danny, there was a time when girls were happy, like right? a nice little Fiesta and an ironing board, and you've got a BMW. Now, why? I've got a BMW and an ironing board, so I've compromised. <laughs> Get the ironing board, I don't even own one. <laughs> I was going to say, this isn't a particular. But I do own this. <laughs> why? I just absolutely adore it. This car, Julia, yeah. why did you buy it? Style, power, what? It was a combination of things. Actually, one of the things was, was an economic choice. Now that sounds strange. It does but, sound strange because you could have had a Nissan Micro I much cheaper. could have had a Nissan Micro and it would have been cheaper but these actually hold their value quite well. Uh -huh. It's quite a good investment car. Sometimes I just go driving for driving's sake. Really? You've yeah. got time to do that? My favourite car Can I have a job on Blue Peter then? <laughs> well I don't but sometimes I get home late and I think I need to unwind so I'll go for a drive. What does the K stand for? Oh I don't know. SLK 230. That's just the name. Do you know for instance have. where the engine is in this? It's somewhere in the middle. OK, German, a compressor. Compressor. Which is a? Compressed engine. Supercharger. Supercharger. Do you want to see if you can find it? It's going to be about, it's going to be about here. It's, going to, it's at the back, isn't it? You told <laughs> me you me. bought and I haven't got one. You bought it. I haven't it. got into this. I've gone into colour schemes. And <laughs> if you go out with girls, does the conversation, conversation ever turn to cars? Yeah. It does? Yeah. And you can talk with girlfriends. You can talk about cars? Well, I do. I bore them slightly, to be honest. Cars have become more sexy, so women have become more interested. You don't just see cars now in car magazines. You see them in fashion magazines mm. as well. It's the cultural change. It's women having uh, more power and doing more in the workplace. And actually, just generally, women's status, I think, has gone up. And the MX-5 came along. I mean, I think the MX-5 must have had something to do with it. Because it suddenly pre presented girls with a... With an option. Yeah. Well, I don't was. have to have a Fiesta, I can have an MX-5. And it was also quite affordable as well. Yeah, absolutely. That's, you know, that's the other thing, is that a lot of the nice cars are not affordable, and men are the higher earners, and therefore they can afford to buy the Porsches and the Ferraris and the TVRs. And I think the MX-5 was responsible for just lowering, lowering the game standard a little bit, so that everyone had a yeah. fair chance. It would seem, then, that if you drive one of these new small sports cars, you are a girl. Yup, even this supercharged Mercedes is a girly car. I absolutely agree with you. It is a girly car. I think this is a unisex car. Because you can but see Is there guide... such a thing as a girly car? Yeah, there is. What? The Vauxhall Tigra. The MG, I think, is, is the perfect example. What's it? The, uh, the new BMW, the little one. Oh, the hairdryer, the Z3. Yeah. I think any small sports car is a, is a girl's car. I think the Mercedes SLK is a girly car. So, girls are now buying nicer cars. But there's been a change, too, in the way they drive them. There's something out there now which is even more frightening than horsepower. Girl power. How do people react when they see you in it? If the blokes at the traffic lights revving, I'll just ignore it. I can just chill and sort of give him a little look. I think I'll let him have a little bit of a leeway in front of me and then sort of just bang my foot down and say, see ya. So, chaps, beware. The streets of London are now a war zone with power-crazed girls hungry for some wheel-to-wheel -wheel combat. And on the evidence you're about to see, we don't stand a chance. The girl driving this Honda NSX may advertise chicken, but believe me, she isn't one. Oh, So, an aggressive driver? <laughs> yep. Full on? Just call me 007. Plenty of road rage? Yeah, I get road rage. It's cool. It's cool for a girl like me to be in this car. It's not I a mean, girly car, is it? No, it's, a, it's an aggressive, hardcore girl who means business car. You know these lots of yeah, looking look at cars? Yeah, look at it. No, they're not. They're looking at me. Oh, for... Oh, sorry. See, that? it really goes Love it. Yes, it does. This is Sloane Street. No, but we've got to get up to the shops quickly. This is what's been interesting me. I don't know whether cars have got to the point where they're now attracting girls or whether girls have changed. Cars have become an accessory. 
I wonder if there's a female equivalent. If you're driving this, we just through went these through a red, red light. We did go through a red light. Yeah. Well, never mind that. Um, oh, should we stop? <laughs> what? Don't look at the shots. Okay. Chanel, these are good see, shots. They've changed Gucci these... windows. And, and I just want to show everyone that these are the shoes I'm driving in. Oh, I've had my hazard lights on the whole time. No, you haven't. You just picked oh, okay. them on while demonstrating okay. your shoes that we're doing oh, 300 miles No, I just hour. want to show everyone, you know, and I can do it in stiletto heels too. Lights are red! I wasn't going to go through and get it ready. Well, now, I look, now, look, I've just got to ask you this. Ooh. You stop. <laughs> We've got to turn right here, yeah, which means I'm... you need the middle pedal. And if you just what? press that... I am never, ever getting into a car with a woman ever again. Plus, of course, my wife, mother of two, another one on the way. And what does she drive? A BMW Z1. Nice.